hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Shayna Shayna Lisa welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back for another video we're in the nursery by the title of today's video you can see that I'm just going to be recapping my third trimester I will link my first trimester and second trimester recap in the description box so you can check those out and see how my first trimester and second trimester went when I am filming this today currently I'm 39 weeks the Lord knows how long I have but I'm just thinking what other symptoms can I feel whatever other symptoms I feel I'm gonna add, put it in the labor and delivery vlog which you guys will see obviously when I get birth let's get into the video at week 28 I said he kicks a lot more and I can see him move clearly at week 29, I had muscle pain that kept me up at night. And I remember it was like in my shoulder. And I just could not sleep. And I would do one thing and I would need an app, <laughs> which hasn't really changed. For week 30, I said nothing new. At week 31, I said I was really short of breath and I could feel him in my ribs. I do remember it didn't hurt, it was just uncomfortable because it was like, okay, I can't breathe. <laughs> I had heartburn return and I had Braxton Hicks more often and I also had insomnia one night that hasn't really changed either at week 32 now this is a weird symptom I've only heard one other person say they had this symptom before but I had a nosebleed and it wasn't like it was leaking completely out my nose but it was like my nose felt runny and I was like wiping it and it would be blood but that was just one night. At 32 weeks, I could also feel my skin stretch, which was is very uncomfortable. I'm just like, how much more does my is my skin gonna be able to stretch? I did not think I could stretch any more for this boy. At week 33, I said nothing new. <laughs> At week 34, I had bad tailbone pain and back pain and pelvic pressure. Which is funny because I don't remember that right now. However, the back pain has not gone away and the pelvic pressure has increased. <laughs> At week 35, I had lightning crotch. I put lightning coochie. Don't call it a coochie. That? I have never in my life felt that before. <laughs> I felt like that thing was on fire. At week 36, I said baby's heart rate um, was 135 and I was one centimeter dilated. So at week 36, in my, at my OB, they start checking me weekly. They also check my cervix, which I will say at week 36, when I was one centimeter dilated, getting my cervix checked did not hurt. At week 37, baby's heart rate was 138 and I was one and a half centimeter dilated. That hurt. And I think it's just because different doctors have different ways of going inside you. <laughs> some are gentle, some are just like, yeah, all up in there like they in their purse looking for coins. And I'm like, okay, this is my vagina. You need to calm down. But anyway, <laughs> I had bad heartburn and it's like, it didn't matter what I ate, I would get heartburn. The same time, consistently, every day, up until the nighttime when I went to sleep. It would like be making me burp and feeling like I was like, sometimes even making me feel like I was gonna throw up. I was like, wow. A little myth, if you have heartburn, they have a lot of hair and I'm like, I hope he has my hair because the way this heartburn is set up, honey. And then at 38 weeks, I said the heartburn went away, but it came back. I had diarrhea and back Braxton Hicks more consistently. So I legit thought I was going into labor because when you look it up, it says diarrhea could be a sign. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And then with the Braxton Hicks, I'm like, oh, I'm going into labor. But I was not going into labor. His heartbeat was 130. My cervix is 80% faced so how, how she explained it was the first time I got checked when I was one centimeter my cervix was like at 50% and now it was at at 38 weeks it was like 80% softening 
from my understanding. And she was saying that that was good for a first baby because some women take 12 to 15 hours just to get to 80% after being induced with their first baby. So we praying for a smooth, fast delivery. Also at 38 weeks, I was having like, I could tell that these were not Braxton Hicks. They were actually contractions. I could still talk through them. They're not consistent. Then at 39 weeks, I did write two things down. I've been hungry even more. Like I cannot stay full. I feel like I'm back in the first trimester. I will eat something, a big hefty meal, mind you. And within like 20 minutes, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry again. Also at 38 weeks, I got ch chased by a dog and i was not gonna talk about this at first and i even said this on my instagram i wasn't gonna share this but it's truly a god story and he gets the glory the devil really tries his hand but he's such a dummy and he's a liar so anyway main was going to the car shop trusted friend of his he takes his car to him and i just go along for the ride i wasn't even gonna get out of the car but i had to go to the bathroom so Maine was already inside the, the car shop. I walk in the car shop and I see this big bear. It was a dog, but it was jumping off of Maine. The dog was loose, was not on a chain. I'm gonna put a picture up of the dog. It was a mastiff. All I know is I seen the dog jumping off of Maine. He was like, whoa. I see that and I just said, I screamed and the dog was like woof and it just started coming my way and I it was fight or flight I took off I forgot I was even pregnant it was just but because of my belly like the weight of my belly was pushing pulling me forward so much I'm literally running like this like falling forward I couldn't get my balance once I realized it was it like I wasn't getting up I was falling I just took I just dove on my left side, but it was like I dove and slid by the grace of God. I fell, got all the way up, opened the car door, and got in the car by the time the dog got to me. The dog ran past like the car, and I shut the door, and then I saw the dog there. I don't think that dog was going to be saying hi. Dog owners, y'all always like, oh, the dog's not going to bite you. The dog, da 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 don't tell me your dog is not gonna bite your dog blah 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 dogs are animals they're wild animals in my opinion you don't know when they're gonna attack and the worst thing you can do is tell a person who's afraid of a dog don't run don't run put your wild beast put your bear on a leash after the adrenaline calmed down the owner got the dog and man came to me and i was just like panicking I told Maine I was like I fell I fell I fell like we gotta go check on the baby I was literally like hyperventilating because I'm just like I could have literally hurt our baby running from this stupid dog I felt like a bad mom like I couldn't protect our son so I called the doctor we were already 30 minutes from our house so we was further into Maryland and our hospital was in Virginia so that, that ride truly felt like eternity. Heard the Lord say to wor worship in my worry. It was nothing but the Holy Spirit, seriously, because I could barely like lift my hands like this to worship. It was a, such a mind game the whole time getting to the hospital. And as soon as they hooked me up, you heard his heartbeat nice and strong. It was just a sigh of relief and I felt like the Lord was telling me that our baby was okay but it was like I just I couldn't see it for myself in that moment we had to stay four hours at the hospital to get monitored but I did not mind because I got to hear his heartbeat literally non-stop for four hours and then I could see on the screen that I was having contractions she was like are you feeling anything and I was like no and I was like mm, actually I'm feeling a little crampy right now she was like oh yeah you just had a contraction I'm like, excuse me, what? To just wrap up that story, what I wanted to say was just how I feel like the Lord really just has a calling on his life. Like not to be one of those parents, like, oh, my, my child is just so special. All children are special and they're a blessing. They're a gift from the Lord. I pray he would be for God's kingdom and he would do things for the Lord. And I just kind of feel like the enemy is afraid of that because two weeks after we found out about him, I was bleeding and I will I also talked about that in another video which I can 
link down below two weeks before his expected due date this happened our son walked out of this with no injuries the doctor and the nurse was just like your baby looks fine like your baby is fine but like nothing nothing happened and i walked out of it with a little scratch on my hand a little scratch on my hip like out of it out of what could have happened i'm just like the lord has really truly just covered him with everything in me with everything in us as parents raise him to know the lord and to just live for the lord because i just believe that there's just a calling on his life and one other revelation that i had <laughs> i stress about when he's gonna come like his due date is this day but i want him to come this day because this day is significant or this day would be cool if he came this day a scripture was brought to my mind psalm 139 verse 16 it just hit me like, Lord, you already have his whole life written out before he was formed in my room. And I'm sitting here like stressing over a due date. All I have to do is just trust the Lord because he already has his whole life written out. So why am I stressing on trying to control it? Whatever day he comes, like th that's the day that the Lord has set for him to come. And it's going to be better than any day that I'm like... Oh, come this day. I can just enjoy the rest of these moments with him in my belly. And that is all for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you would like. If you leave a comment down below, I do respond to comments. I do like chatting with you guys. Don't forget to share with a family or friend. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button before you leave, guys. I don't plan to film a another video besides labor and delivery, so. See you in the next video.